I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on reflection of objects. The question here is consider a triangle ABC with vertices A 3 minus 1, B 4 minus 3, and C 2 minus 4. Reflect the triangle ABC on the line x equals to 1, provide coordinates of this triangle KLM. Reflect the triangle KLM on the line y equals to 0, write coordinates of the final image of the triangle PQR. What could be a possible single transformation to describe transformation from triangle ABC to triangle PQR? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, some of you can do this question without drawing or plotting the triangle. However, I'll actually plot all these transformations here and then answer the question. That will help you understand the concept. So let us say this is our graph. So on the coordinate plane, we have x and y axis. Let us now sketch the triangle. A, B, C. A is 3 minus 1. So 1, 2, 3 minus 1. That's the point A. B is 4 minus 3. So 4, 1, 2, 3. And C is 2 minus 4. So which is 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So the triangle for us is something like this. We need to reflect this on the line which is x equals to 1. Now x equals to 1 itself is not very clear to many students. What is this line x equals to 1? Well this line is a vertical line where all the points on this line have x coordinate value as 1, right? So this vertical line is what we are interested in. So when you reflect it on the line x equals to 1, so this is the line x equals to 1, okay? What do you get? You get an image which is same distance away. So this point will come to that. This is two distance away, two units, and that is one, two, three. So from here, one, two, three, correct? So we get a point, all these points. Connecting them, we get a triangle, correct? So let me write down A, B, C for our original triangle. And we have K, L, M. Now this triangle has to be reflected on y equals to 0. So what is y equals to 0? y equals to 0 is actually the equation of x-axis. So it is this line on which we have to reflect now. So this line here is y equals to 0. Is that clear to you? All right. So that is a very important thing to understand. So when you reflect, now it is simple. You know it has to be one unit, one, two, three, three units up, one, two, three. And then this point here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it becomes much simpler once you plot it on a graph. Now this question could be a multiple choice question without a graph. Then it becomes really, really difficult, right? So finally, we get our triangle, which is PQR. So, so the point this is P and then this point is Q and this point is R. Right? So that is how we get our coordinates. So you can list all the coordinates of uh, the triangle here. So for KLM, we have K, which is you have to see from this origin, right? So minus 1, minus 1. L will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, so minus 2, minus 3, and M is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 0, minus 4, minus 4, okay. The coordinates for PQR, the final will be, P is minus 1, 1, Q is minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 
and R will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So we got part A and B. Now the question for you is, what could be a possible single transformation to describe transformation from triangle ABC to PQR? Well, so when you do two reflections, it is as good as a rotation about 180 degrees about a point. Now, which is this point? So that point is the intersection of both the lines on which it is reflected. So this is uh, 180 degrees rotation. It could be clockwise or counterclockwise about the point. What is the point? The x value was 1, right? And the y value was 0. So about the point 1, 0. So if you reflect this about this point 1, 0, you see from A to P you get. Do you see that part? So that is how it is. So this is 180 degrees rotation from A to B about the point, which here is 1, 0, correct? So that is how you're going to describe the single transformation. So remember, two reflections will result into one rotation about the point where these two lines intersect. Perfect. So that is what we take from this particular video. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.